Hey guys, welcome back to Clownfish TV. This is Neon. I am here with Geeky Sparkles. Hello. And uh, how desperate is Disney? How desperate well, is Disney? Good news. Disney's bringing free dining back, but they're only bringing free dining back right now if you're a Disney Plus subscriber. Yeah, this is so they're trying very, very hard to get their Disney Plus numbers up. We're going to talk about this because they've been getting their butts handed to them. They've been losing hundreds of millions of dollars just on Disney Plus. It seems like they're going to be very short of where they plan to be by 2024. And, uh, you know, they got to deal with uh, Nelson Peltz and Ike Perlmutter and friends and uh, their former CFO coming after them. And uh, they're probably frantically trying to, to you know, rustle up as many subscribers as they can to give a good case as to why they should just keep the board intact. You know, I, I don't think it's going to go very well for them because everybody's looking at Disney now like you guys are losing a lot of money, mm -hmm. a lot of subs. So let's um, let's talk about this. Before we get into it any further, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants. Guys, get woohoo if you do. Woohoo! Uh, go out to shop clownfish. Dot com pick up a copy of Crimson Random, a copy of previously on Clownfish TV. Uh, both of those books in stock, ready to ship. Uh, second chance, uh, probably the last chance for a while to grab it. Either of these books, so check them out. Uh, Geeky's been shipping, shipping like the wind, mm -hmm. shipping like the wind. Uh, I don't know yeah, how you ship like the wind, but apparently I'm doing how you it. Ship, ship like the wind. Is that a Disney song? Ship like the wind, shipping like the wind. Um, you shit like the wind. It's called a fart. <laughs> but we're talking about shipping like the wind. Okay. Um, I'm shipping faster than Tumblr. So, uh, yeah, so we, we, we have the story today because I saw this this morning when I was doing my articles on piratesandprincesses.net that Disney is, is bringing back free dining. Um, they post this on Disney Parks blog. However, it's if you are a Disney Plus subscriber. Yeah. So... <laughs> Disney must be desperate for Disney Plus subscriptions. Uh, they must be not hitting their goal because the end of their quarter for the first quarter of 2023, 2024 would have been the end of December, I believe, because that yeah. would have been October, November, December. So they're probably looking at that and they're probably like, holy shit, we need to do something. Because people were expecting free dining to be available because Disney does that when they need to fill things. Yeah. Well, now they're doing it, but just for Disney Plus subscribers. And this is a very popular plan. Usually Disney pulls the trigger on free dining. We, we know this having covered you know theme parks for years and did it full time for a while. But uh, they don't pull the, the trigger on free dining unless the bookings are down. Because mm -hmm. they know that incentivizes people. Now, weirdly enough, you might actually wind up paying more to uh, you know, get the uh, pay full price for the yeah. rack rate, they call it, rack rate for the hotel, and then get the free dining than you would if you'd gotten a discount on the hotel. Well, it's a pretty good deal, though, if you're paying for Disney Plus and your Disney Plus isn't that much per month. We have to wait and see. Tomorrow, they're going to, this is what they're teasing they're going to have. We're going to get the actual details and fine print tomorrow. So I'm really curious to see how this comes out tomorrow because it might be like, is it one per party or you have to have paid for Disney Plus for many months or you have to be at the highest tier or something because... These are not the dining plans aren't cheap. Um, they're yeah they run the quick service plans fifty seven dollars per day per adult and oh twenty nine per day for children. The Disney dining plan costs about ninety five dollars per day for adult thirty per day per children. The difference is of course the quick service plan you can only choose quick service options where the Disney dining plan you can you can choose one table service one quick service. That's what it was before. Yeah. Um, people been waiting for it to come back. Thing is, that's a lot of money because if you're if you're it has to be a minimum of four nights, four day. So for an adult, for each adult, that's about four hundred bucks in free dining. So I'm I'm waiting to see what the caveats are going to be. But it's interesting that they're offering this for Disney Plus subscribers. Yeah. So this is going to be the new like rewards, like like any perks at Disney. They're going to make sure you're a subscriber first. Now, obviously, if you're going to drop that much money on a Disney vacation and you like Disney that much, chances are pretty good. You're paying, you know, 10, 15, 20 dollars a month for Disney Plus anyway. But still, you're talking like that much for, you know, that's one. I mean, one dining plan. So it's going, to, it's going to be a good deal if you're a Disney Plus subscriber, depending on what the other you know, fine print is because here's the actual Disney Parks blog announcement, okay? Yeah. And it's everything I said, which is starting January 3rd, Disney Plus subscribers can get a free dining plan when purchased. They said a free dining plan, okay? Does okay. that mean for one person in your party? Um, <laughs> when purchasing a non-discounted four-night, four-day Walt Disney Travel Company package that includes a room at select Disney Resort hotels and theme park ticket with park hopper option. Already, if you have the park hopper option, you're already paying way, way more than you would have paid um, that would probably cover a lot of the dining and the park hopper option is not necessary and it doesn't really, 
doesn't cost Disney anything else, but you, you cost you something else. You it's, know? it's psychological. Uh, that's what this is, is basically they, they, people see free food and they're like, oh my God, free food, not realizing they're paying more for the hotel and they're paying more for the ticket. So you paying- do all that because you're right, you cannot use it on a discounted package right. and sometimes that's not as good of a deal. A lot of times when you have these deal, these meal plans, you end up, you would have bought, you would have spent less money buying it outright. It only count, it's only a good deal when it's free. Okay. So the offer is valid for arrivals most nights, July 1st to September 30th. So it's over summer. Okay, and it's good. now beginning tomorrow. Additional offer details are going to come out. They don't. We don't have those yet. Okay. Okay. This is weird though, because usually when they do the free dining, it's usually off season. It's usually mm-hmm. like you know in and around when they're slow. Like again, Disney doesn't discount Did anything. Did you catch when slow. the dates are till July first through September thirtieth, twenty twenty four? End now, of the yes, quarter. September thirtieth, twenty twenty four. I was only what you travel by. That's the end of the fiscal year. And it's kind of interesting because Disney has set out goals for subscriber goals for Disney Plus that are much higher than the current number of subscribers. And they said they've been saying they're going to hit it by by the end of fiscal year 2024. They're saying that they've said that in 2020, now I think they've changed this a couple of times. They were predicting between 230 and 260 million subscribers. They lowered it a bit to 215 to 245 million since then, but they are only at 150 million right now. Or at the end of last quarter. Yeah, this um, – and they have streaming losses of $387 million. Uh, and there, it was after that quarter they did the, the $2 deal? Yeah. There's no way. There's no way they're going to hit that. Uh, the only thing I could see is if they're like, oh, okay, we're just going to give Disney Plus away just to everybody. <laughs> That's how we're going to hit. Because I think they, they didn't think there was a ceiling. People are actually getting burnt out on, on subscribing to a whole bunch of streaming services. And a lot of the content on Disney Plus sucks. It sucks and people aren't subscribing to it. They're not going to pay you for your, you know, shitty Star Wars and your shitty Marvel shows, you know? So, Mm -hmm. so good luck with that. Cause you, you basically, I think they've, they've saturated the market. I think at at this point, personally, any of these companies, whether it's Disney or Paramount or or whoever is trying to chase that streaming chuck wagon, you are better off focusing on creating good content and then finding a home for that content rather than, than trying to have your own streaming platform. But they went all in on this thing. So, right. But they, they, they're saying they went up at least like, you know, they lowered their, their goals some, but they're still a lot higher than what they currently have. So they need to get those numbers up. And here's the thing. Per subscriber, excluding Hotstar, which makes up about 40 million of those subscribers. Yeah. Um, Hotstar, they usually exclude from their totals um, for their ARPU uh, because they don't... They, they only get like, like, I forget what it is. It's like 70 cents or something like that yeah. per subscriber. In the, the Indian market, right? right? As opposed to the profit being about $6.70 per subscriber or somewhere in there in the other markets. Well, if you're only getting that much profit and you're offering free dining, <laughs> I'm like, you might have more subscribers hit those goals, but you're going to be spending more because you're giving out yeah. free dining. Yeah. So like, I don't know. I mean, it's just funny to me. Like the whole thing just smacks of desperation. Yeah, this is this is weird. Um, and it is. It's a good deal for you though, the customer. If you want to go to Disney and you want a dining plan, I mean, wait till tomorrow till we get the fine print. Because I'm I'm really curious to see, you know, what's going to be involved in this. Like, if it's one per party, and you you know, if it's going to be this this that or the other, I'm waiting to see what the fine print is. But if it turns out like a normal free dining offer. Um, you buy the non-discounted rooms and the tickets with the park hopper for those many days and you get the free dining. It might be a really good deal, depending on what you want with your trip, for the consumer anyway. Yeah, so let's look at um, let's look at some of the other perks here. I didn't realize they had this. Yeah, perks. they have a whole section. You didn't know that? No, you, you can enter for a chance to win a vacation to yeah. Disneyland. Okay. Mm-hmm. You can get 20% off download of the Pandora yes. game. You, you yeah, f- I knew about this. I teamed up with Walmart. Oh, they're really trying. 40 bucks on annual Walmart Plus membership. Yep. Coming soon. Yeah. Special that Walt Disney one, World. January Resort. 3rd, there's going to be up to 35% off, I think. Select hotels. Hot damn. 30 free digital Marvel comics, including Peggy Carter. Wow. Can't wait to print them out. Wipe my ass. Anyway. Yeah, these are. this is uh, 2017 when they were changing everything. That was actually the uh, the image that they used when Variety, I think it was Variety, did the article about how, or Hollywood Reporter, about how Marvel was failing. This is the image they used. 
So any other ones that? I, yeah, I knew they had this page. Fifty percent off a D23 Gold membership because they're trying to get D23 wow. Gold membership up. They keep offering deals on Gold membership. A free gift from Disney Emoji Blitz. Yeah, you didn't know this existed. No, fifteen save fifty percent on Funko Pops. I want to point out again that um, Funko. <laughs> I want to, that you know. Guess who owns a lot of stake in um, in Funko? Bob Iger. Bob Iger. <laughs> so here we go, Lounge Fly again. Yeah. Um, okay, but I do love the Lounge Fly. Lounge fly. I didn't. I wasn't. I wasn't realizing that they were fifteen percent off of Disney stuff. I, I haven't bought Disney stuff from Lounge Fly for a while. But if I buy any Disney things in the future, I'll have to use that. Twenty percent off a Dreamlight Valley Cozy Edition at Best Buy. Uh, free exclusive digital rewards with Disney Movie Insiders. It doesn't cost me anything. Fifteen percent on vinyl and collectibles from the du- the Disney Music Emporium. Actually. The vintage Disneyland records, uh, I, I do like, but they've censored some of them, so whatever. The new I, one's probably censored. That's I, cool. If these are anything you'd be interested in, then the, the, then the, the cost of the service actually, you know, makes sense. Yeah. Uh, they do things on on Shop Disney that they have, like, a new show's coming out, and they'll offer merchandise. That's going to be offered to everyone, but if you're a Disney Plus subscriber, you get it, like, a week early, and if it yeah. sells out, you get it. They don't. There are some things like that that they're trying to do to try to entice people to join Disney Plus because they need those numbers to be increased. I love this. But then, yeah, we have, we have, oh, Hollywood's villain. Yes. Villains of the year. The trio protect, protect tormenting the brand. Disney. Protect Disney. Nelson Peltz, Ike Perlmutter, who was in charge of Marvel for Raw, and Jay Rizzullo, who worked for Disney for years under Eisner and was their CFO and was next in line to be CEO and uh, actually would probably do pretty well running the company. I, I honestly, I, I could be wrong. But I could see them getting their board seats. They want to give Rizzullo a seat too, I guess. But I could see them pushing him to be CEO. Like, you have to name a successor, Bob. And Jay was, at one point, a successor. This Perlmutter and Rizzullo make sense, though. Because Perlmutter was with Marvel for yeah. years. And, and he was there when it was working. He was there when they laid out the plan for the, the Allegedly, Infinity Allegedly, yeah. he was against the choices they've been making of late, which have turned into box office failures. Yep. Don't, can't confirm that. Rizzullo was there when they were doing way better under, you know, Eisner and then under Iger earlier on before they went total bat shit and might ruined everything. He was there then. Those two make sense. Peltz, I guess, has worked at other companies before. There's another group. I forget off the top of my head. They were talking about coming in because they've worked at other companies oh, yeah, before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Just to try to help them make some Get them you know, profitable. Yeah, basically, yes. Try to here's here's what you can change to help yourself. So they're villains because they they want to. They're villains because they vote a certain way and they they want to change Disney. But Disney, as it stands, is not is not viable. Something has to be changed. And in this case, at least two of those people have worked with things Disney's working with for years. Yeah, it would make sense that they bringing them in would make sense. Yeah. Peltz just wants to have like a person on the board, which I could be the same thing, that is a shareholder themselves that would actually want to make arrangements to better the company to boost the shares. Yeah. Yeah. How are they the Disney villains? Or the, I'm sorry. How are they the Hollywood villains? How are they the Hollywood villains? Uh, I don't know. Because they don't like them because they stand for Disney. Yeah. Yeah. So I don't know, guys. This is, uh, is going to be really, uh, really interesting. And this is all about because they're. I guarantee you these guys are going to look at the numbers and be like, hey, remember when you told all of our uh, shareholders you were going to have like 250 million subs and you're like 100 million short? Well, they lowered it because it was supposed to be 260. Yeah. And now it's like 245, what, 250? Is that what they said? Um, 215 and 245. They're not going to hit that. There's no way. people. Well, that's what they're doing these offers for. Because they're they're hoping that that if you get free dining, everybody's going to subscribe. And even if you subscribe, and it's probably like set up in such a way that, you know, you book now, you have to be still a Disney Plus subscriber through a certain time frame. Yeah. Uh, Through the end of the year, when when this ends, they can count your subscription. You have to do it for a year or something, and then they can count you in their yearly total because everybody's going to sign up for that. Oh, free dining if I'm a subscriber? They're going to go rush to sign up. Oh, absolutely. Absolutely. So good luck with that, guys. Uh, we'll, we'll see how this uh, plays out. But I'm, yeah, just, I'm just thinking they got their numbers back from the first quarter like shit. Yep, because they, they would not be offering deals like this if they didn't. So Mm-mm. a lot of people not going to Disney now. And their bookings must be down, too, because they're going to be offering a hotel deal, too. But it also could be to up the subscriber numbers. I, I am getting nonstop emails from travel agencies. Book a trip, book a trip, book a trip, book a trip. They usually don't start this early in the year. I'm, I'm just yeah, saying. Yeah, if I want to book a trip, I, I already have people I would book with or I would just yeah, do it myself because we know what we're doing. We already know people. We do this well. Anyway, 
So let's wrap this up. Yes. Uh, please subscribe for more pop culture news, views, and rants, guys. We'll talk later. Bye.